Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Let's Play Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits with me, Ultra Gamer J. In our last episode, we had been... We ventured to the top. We headed towards... Towards, um... What, what is this place called again? Ah, Dragonbone Valley. That... I really should have done a better job of remembering that. Anyways, I wanted to get to this episode sooner, but... Then I discovered a little something called Solar Opposites. And after binge-watching it, I can say it is a hell of a drug. But... That's not what's in... But on to more important things other than... Than something new I discovered that I love. On the way up here, Paulette got a new skill, Hypnotize. It puts a single enemy to sleep, and it has a better hit rate than Maru's story time. Speaking of Maru, he also learned a new skill, Steel. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Pretty self-explanatory. He steals an item from an enemy. So, with that, uh, with, uh, now that we're all caught up with what I've been doing off camera, let's get, get down to exploring the wreckage. Come here, Ben. Come on. Can I just say I love Paulette for making that little meta comment there? Yes. All Maru will ever wear in this game are, are those pants that are very, um, puffy. Uh, he goes shirtless for the rest of, for, from net from here on, or forever. Not some, not something you want to be doing in Dragon Moan Valley unless you have a death wish. Courtesy of Hypothermia. didn't do anything. Come on. Boop. I won't give it to anyone. Hurry, let's get out of here.
Yes, speak of the demos and they shall appear. Yeah, this is this the fight we're about to get into is a pretty no infamous one because Lilia is going to be that one AI that moves around when it really shouldn't. But fear not. For I have a counter strategy. Maru, stand in front of her and prevent her from advancing. Worked like a charm. Even though it's probably kind of a dick move. Like if she was a real, living, breathing person. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Eh, why not? Let's see how much one one special move will do. Oh, shooting stars, smash our enemies! Or we could be, we could be semi assholes and keep her, keep her from doing something stupid by standing right in front of her. I know it might seem like a dick move, but it's for Lilia's own good. Safety first. I put my soul in this sword. Fighting settles nothing. Oh, I don't know about that, Lilia. Mostly because these guys don't look these Draker don't look like they want to talk about Come their feelings. On. No pun intended, but the these de this particular species of demo seems very cold blooded. Yeah, funny thing about that technique Karg just used. In the menu, it's called Whirlwind Crusher, but he addresses it as Whirlwind Helmet Crusher. Doesn't make a lot of sense, given that not a lot of enemies will be fighting wear helmets. Even though it would probably be smart for them to do so. I mean, hey, if it's safe when you do it... If you're, you do it when riding a bike, why wouldn't you do it when you're in the middle of combat? Just saying. Once I, get you, you'll never escape. Slang knife. I mean, yes, it didn't work for the grunts in Starship Troopers, but that doesn't exist in this world.
I soared the power of justice. Bang breaker blade. Keep up the good work, Maru. Keep protecting Lilia from her lack of brain or from her AI's lack of intelligence. I don't want to imply that Lilia is stupid. Rather, I want to imply that the computer control roles or whatever is automating her moves is stupid. And again, if we don't want a robot uprising, that's it's probably for the best that the AI stays stupid. You sure about that? move didn't trigger. That sucks. How's that? Touch me and you'll be sorry. Too slow. Thank you. 
Well, well, it looks like we're gonna be heading back to, to the main town. But, and as you can see, Lilia is not a member of our party, so we pro we won't be able to use her in battle. Eh. But she probably didn't have any comp any skills on her anyway. So um, yeah, I'm going to end. I'm going to draw this episode to a close. This has been Ultra Gamer J signing off. Please remember to like and subscribe for more content. I hope to see you all in the next installment of this Let's Play.